All right, strap in because we're diving headfirst into the chaotic whirlpool that is Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's latest escapade. It's like watching a car crash in slow motion. You know you shouldn't stare, but you just can't look away. So, here's the tea, and trust me, it's piping hot. First off, our beloved royal renegades decided they were too good for the peasant seating at the Super Bowl and aimed for the stars with their demands for a private box. But, oh dear, what's this? The Super Bowl execs must have misplaced their royal invite because Harry and Meghan were flat-out denied. The audacity, right? How dare they not roll out the red carpet for Hollywood's part-time royalty? Apparently, Meghan had concocted a master plan to eclipse Taylor Swift's Super Bowl moment. Because, of course, a former cable TV actress and a prince in exile are the real MVPs America was waiting to see. Let's not forget Harry's Valentine's Day escapade, where he chose pigskin over heartstrings, ditching Meghan to bro out with Princess Eugenie at last year's game. They were spotted luxuriating in a private box, miles away from the commoners. Fast forward to this year, and our dynamic duo found themselves on the outside looking in, no doubt a bitter pill to swallow for two people accustomed to the royal treatment. And then there's the suit snub. Oh, it's delicious. Meghan's old stomping ground decided to have a reunion without her. Can you imagine? They gathered the old gang for a Super Bowl commercial, and Meghan was conspicuously absent. It's like they decided to remind her that the world of suits keeps turning, even without its once starlet who traded briefcases for tiaras. Gina Torres, Rick Hoffman, Sarah Rafferty, they all showed up. Meghan? Not so much. It's almost as if her invitation got lost in the mail, along with any remaining shreds of her acting career. But wait, there's a rumor that Meghan might grace suits with her presence again in some sort of spin-off. Because when your royal adventure starts to fizzle, the obvious next step is to backtrack to the job you quit on your quest for greater fame, right? Royal expert Richard Fitzwilliams didn't mince words, calling it a farcical step backward. But hey, let's not dismiss them yet. They're unpredictable, after all because nothing says unpredictable like desperately clawing your way back to the C-list celebrity status you thought you'd outgrown. In the end, Harry and Meghan's quest for Super Bowl glory and acting redemption reads like a poorly scripted reality show, one where the protagonists are blissfully unaware they're not the heroes of the story. They're like those distant relatives who show up uninvited at family events, causing a scene and then wondering why they're not the center of attention. So there you have it, another chapter in the never-ending saga of Harry and Meghan's quest for relevance. Will they ever find their happy ending, or will they continue to stumble from one PR mishap to the next? Only time will tell, but one thing's for sure, it's going to be entertaining to watch.